Welcome back again, guys. This is seven failures for not being able to stay well. We can't get well. We can't get well no matter what we do. But this is video number three. And, you know, the last two, we talked about nutrition with food. We talked about the last one we talked about other than just food. We went into nutrients. But this one we're going to talk about, the one subject I like the most is we have the most problems, it seems like, with it's the gut. I'm amazed at how many clients I get, female especially, it comes in with digestive problems. They can't go to the bathroom. They feel like they're bloating. They just cannot understand their stomach. They're small and large intestines, and they can't figure it out. And they say, man, my liver, is it my gallbladder? Is it my spleen? What's really going on inside of my gut? Well, two things about that we understand is, when you start thinking about the gut for a minute, there's a, a nutrient or a mineral that you probably don't realize you could be deficient in because as we get older, our gastric hydrochloric acid that we produce actually start to disseminate. It starts to disappear. So you might need, and most people I recommend, get some hydrochloric acid, some tablets, and take a couple of those then. Because what they do is help you to digest the food, break it down, because yours, as I said, get the older you get, the more yours de depletes. And a lot of times, that could be a lot of the issues. But one thing that I've noticed that the majority of people don't take is because the body does produce their own enzymes, we don't have enough to step in the channel and to do its job. And I don't know if you realize that 80% of your energy that you come out of your body comes out of your stomach. That's why a lot of times when you eat a meal, five or 10 minutes later, you're knocked out tired. But when you take a good digestive enzyme, it kick out all the bad bacteria out of your system. And it just does wonders to helping your body to eliminate. But also, you have a good probiotic. Now, probiotic comes in strands anywhere from five billion to you name it, two, 300 billion, and that's good. But the more the strength, the more sicker most people are but a good 5 billion probiotic you take every night before you go to bed will do just great. Now, there's some controversy on this one. It says, what's the difference between a live and a non-live probiotic? A live probiotic, you have to refrigerate. A non-live probiotic, you just basically leave it on the shelf. But my personal opinion is the live one. It's the most better, and you're going to get more out of it. Because what it does is put the bad, the good bacteria back up into your system and the enzyme digestive put it out. So now you have it. If you're having gut issues, just look at some things that you're eating and also eat some green leafy vegetables. You'd be amazed what they can do to your body too to help you start to eliminate. And if you're not drinking adequate water, that could be a problem too. Hey, more tips again, but remember, this series is power packed. This is Chef Timothy Moore. Tell me below what you think about this. Are you having any stomach problems? What can we do to solve them today? Go to ChefTimothyMoore.com. Comment below. Guys, it's only getting better. But remember, hydrochloric acid can help you take a tablet, help you disseminate, help you break down that food in your stomach because yours, as we get older, it starts to deplete. And also remember, digest enzyme and a good probiotic, minimum 5 billion, but also make sure that you get the probiotic at the refrigerator at your health food store. Hey, this is Chef Dr. Moore. Look forward to talking to you soon. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day.